Sports betting, the activity of predicting sports results and placing a wager on the outcome, has been the norm amongst the youth in recent years. It has its pros and cons. Through sports betting, people become rich and others also end up in bankruptcy. Some have gone to the extent of becoming so much addicted to the game, such that they always spend their last penny hoping for glory days. Good morning, it's your girl Akosia Sapu today and we are at UEW North Campus. We are doing something on students' life and sports betting. We would like to find out from our colleague the benefits of this whole betting thing. Its benefits, side effects, how it's affecting the education and the academic world. Please, I'm Akosia and you are? I'm Wilson, thank you. Please, do you know anything about betting? Sports yes, betting? I know a little. You know a little, yeah. or you know much? Okay, let me see, I know. You know? Yeah. Much? Yeah. Good, thank you. Okay, when you say betting, what is this betting thing about? Betting is the activity of predicting on the outcome of a sporting game or match. Okay. So, predicting, you predict whether a team will win or lose? Yes. Okay. How long have you been in this betting business? Since 2018. Whoa. That's about three or four years, right? Yeah, three years. Okay. Thank you. Uh, who introduced you into this betting thing? Mm, no one really. I went to Facebook once and I saw the advert on a sporting app called Sporty Bet. So I read about the app and I got more information about how the app is used. So after then, I went online to download the app and also log in and also I create an account in the app. So that's how everything started. So how many betting companies do we have? I don't know. There are more, more than a thousand. More than a thousand? Yeah. Whoa. So which betting site do you use? Like I said, Sporty Bet. Sporty Bet. Yeah. What are some of the terms? We have odds, under double chance, over. When you talk about the odds, is the amount given to a particular team, either home or away. Okay. Maybe like home team is given one CD, and the away team is given three CDs. That is us. And when you talk about the under and over, it's like you, you are saying that the team playing, they are going to score more than more than a certain number of goals or less than that number of goals. So if I understand, so if it, you predict, if you predict and you, uh, the amount on every team is called the... Uh, Odds. How was this betting thing? How has it affected your education? And before that, even before that, before entering into this betting thing, how was your academic performance? I think comparing before to this time, I was better before. But this time, I think... <laughs> I'm not like the first. I've, uh, well, the betting has affected me. Yeah. So with this betting thing, your biggest win? Uh, my biggest win was 530 cities. Old Ghana or new? New Ghana cities. Oh, that is a huge sum. <laughs> okay, and your biggest loss? 
uh, my biggest loss was 50 cities. That was your last 50 cities, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so when you um when you bet on these things, you go to class or you monitor the matches? I go to class and still monitor. So how do you blend the two? Mm, it's not an easy thing. Because when you are in class and you are monitoring, that means you are not going to concentrate on what the lecturer is talking about. So at the end of the day, you are not going to get anything good from the class that you went. So it's a very difficult time. Okay, so if you are in class and you are still you are monitoring this betting thing, and fortunately you win, how is the feeling like? I become happy, but in terms of academics, I've lost a lot. Yes. Even winning, it's uh, making you lose. Then what of losing? <laughs> that means everything will be worse. Yes. 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 Okay. Um. Since you are saying this thing has bad effects on you, is it easy to just pull back? To me, it's not easy. Because I wish I don't know how to bet. Okay. Because I've been trying several times to stop, but I'll stop for some time and go back to it again. So I think it's something difficult for me to pull back. So if you are in, you have been in it for quite a long time, it's very difficult, right? Yes. Any advice to your colleagues that who want to enter and those who are in? Any advice to them? For those who are already in it, I don't think maybe maybe theirs will be like mine. They will find it difficult to stop. But I'll advise them to reduce the time that they spend on betting. But those who want to enter into it now, I'll ask them not to try because it's not easy. It's not a good thing. When you get addicted, you find it difficult to stop it. So I don't advise them to get into it. But I think it's it's kind of a huge some others are getting. Or it's because you are losing. That is why you are stopping others from entering. Uh, you will win, but what you will lose will be more than what you will win. So, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. So today we had a discussion on students' life on campus and sports betting and from what our colleague said he will never advise you to engage in a sport betting business why you will say that when it comes to money it's a risk thing that we are doing so you won't venture but from his experience you dare not